Hey guys, Cole here. I'm just doing another video today on another symptom. Um, I wouldn't really call it a symptom, I'd call it more of a, a neurological issue. Um, or, you know, um, sub subsequent damage from long-term exposure to psychiatric drugs um, called neurotoxicity. Um, you know, I'm, I, I haven't got a PhD in, in neurotoxicity. You know, I'm not a, a scientist on the subject, um, but I have experienced and I have lived it and breathed it uh, every day of my life for the past, you know, four or five years of symptoms of neurotoxicity. So I know what it's like to, to you know, live it in real life, um, which is, I don't think you can get any more real than that, um, you know, Neurotoxicity um, is is um, practically exposure to a man-made or natural uh, toxic substance, um, which alters or affects the you know the nervous system, you know the brain, um, in you know obviously negative ways. Um, you know, neurotox neurotoxicity can be defined as damage, brain damage, or neuronal tissue damage, um, particularly, um, you know, to a lot of, you know, a lot of substances, um, psychiatric drugs, uh, one of the major ones, uh, can be, a, can be a, a variety of, um, of, of chemicals, um, cleaning agents or, or whatnot. Um, but for me, um, you know, from my experience, it's been it's been psychiatric drugs um, that have done this uh, you know, done this to me. Um, you know, I've I've been experiencing symptoms of neurotoxicity, you know, for a very long time now. I'd say about well, about four four or five years. Um, the symptoms really started to ramp up. I'd probably say back, back in about, back about 2018. Um, you know, they got really bad, and even now, as I'm coming off the drug, they're still very, you know, they're still very, um, very real. You know, very, you know, very alive in me. Um, you know, the things I experience with neurotoxicity. Um, due to prolonged exposure to psychiatric drugs. I have cognitive issues, my ability to concentrate, my ability to focus. Uh, for example, you know, even doing this video for, for me today is taking a lot of, a lot of effort, you know, out of me to be able to focus for, uh, for this long. Um, it almost feels like, you know, um, my brain is always one step behind me, you know, I, uh, example um, if I'm washing the dishes or going shopping um, you know my, my you know my body's out of the shop my brain's still in the shop trying to catch up with me and and that's due to a neuronal um, damage neuronal tissue dam damage due to the neurotoxicity of the drug um, long term um, I've, I'm experiencing chronic fatigue you know, severe levels of fatigue. This is to do, you know, to do with the exposure of the, you know, drugs toxicity on the brain, on the body. Um, I'm experiencing eye uh, eye pain. Um, sort of feels um, like you know, eye pressure in the eyes. I'm also experiencing ototoxicity, which is a, uh, you know, it's a symptom. Um, it's pretty much air canal damage, damage to the air canals from neurotoxic substances, um, which leaves me uh, in incredibly sound sensitive. Um, I have tinnitus in my ears all the time, and I experience a lot of ear pain. Um, you know, at its worst, it feels literally like my ears are on fire, and I, I've been experiencing this for years now. Um, and and probably another symptom of neurotoxicity is also, you know, um, TBI, uh, which is a tra traumatic brain 
impairment, which you know, which which goes to show my cognitive issues. Um, TBI um, is due to long-term exposure of of neurotoxins on the brain, uh, damage to the brain. So you know, it's um, it's pretty prof pretty profound and pretty um, you know crazy. You know the amount of you know, the amount of damage you know that can be done. Um, you know from from long-term exposure um, to you know to uh, to psychiatric drugs in general. You know um, there should be informed consent from the from the you know from the doctors you know, from the psychiatrists. You know before you you know before you put on these drugs um, because. You know, sort of. You know, after eight weeks, we don't know what happens. There's, there's no long-term studies done for what happens um, after you've been on the drug in longer, longer than two months or eight weeks. Um, there have been trials done um, up to two years, but that's all uh, pharmaceutically sponsored. Um, you know, pharmaceutical. Um, scientist studies you know influenced so it's not it's not genuine um, or not real so um, you know for me you know, I, you know I, I really don't know uh, my future or what it holds you know for me because you know or how much time it's going to take for me to repair or, or heal. You know, I know neuroplast neuroplasticity exists, but I don't know how long it's going to take. You know, I could be I could be drug damaged forever. You know, um, quite possibly. Um, but as, you know, as long as there's healing in place, you know, um, as long as I'm noticing improvements, you know, I'll, I'll hold on to that hope. Um, you know. In terms of, you know, neurotoxicity, you know, I know it's a drug. You know it's a drug. If you feel someone who's consumed these drugs long term and you're feeling ill, you know, you know it's, it's a drug. But the problem is when you're <coughs> hydrogenically dependent on the drug or a physical substance, you just can't stop it. You can't stop it because then you go into protracted withdrawal, um, which is, you know, even, you know, which is even more severe than being stable and being uh, and, and, and suffering and being ill. You know, so the drug companies they know this. They know that these these drugs are you know, d dependency forming, and you know, that's why they design them to get to hook you on them for life. So. You know, the only thing I can do is to is to slowly is to slowly stop these drugs. You know, over time, and to put less and less. You know, neurotoxin. You know, it's like as drugs are, are neurotoxins. So, you know, the less of the drug I consume, the less neurotoxins. You know, are going into my body. Um, that, that that's all I can do. Um, you know, but from my point of view, um, you know, the amount of suffering, you know, that, 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 you know, we have to go through, that I'm going through, um, every day because of a drug, that, that's, that's pretty much, you know, destroying you and you have to take it so you don't go into withdrawal. Um, it's just absolutely ridiculous and no human being should have to be put through this. It's just crazy. But um, you know, that's my only way out. You know, to, you know, I've got to come off this drug slowly. Um, you know, there's a lot of foods that you can consume. You know, to to help neurotoxicity um, or to help reduce the toxins out of the brain, out of the out of the nervous system. You know, things like uh, NAC, N-acetylcysteine helps to you know withdraw toxins out of the brain. We have spirulina. Um, we have wild blueberries. You know, these are supplements. We have turmeric. 
Uh, these are things we can take to, you know, draw, you know, the toxins out of the brain, um, which are, you know, which are helpful. Um, but for me and anyone who's been on these drugs, you know, long term, you know, 10, 15 years or more, you know, it's um, ultimately it's going to come down, it's, it's going to come down to time. Um, you know, time and patience, and it's going to take years because, you know, the nervous system is a very delicate, it's a very, de a very delicate vessel. You know, you break a bone, you heal in eight weeks. You, you know, you, you snap a ligament, a tendon. You know, you, you'll be out for months, but you, you hurt your nervous system. It's going to be years, and it's a very long, sadly. Um, for myself and others out there, it's a very long, you know, road to recovery. Um, but that's just the way it is. Um, ultimately, you know, if there's any doctors or psychiatrists watching this video, you know, I really don't know how you guys put people on these drugs long term and and do what you do because it's just absolutely ridiculous and it's just satire it's just stupid um, but before you put any anyone on these drugs like catch drugs you, you need to give them informed consent because you're putting a neurotoxic substance into someone's brain you're artificially raising the amount of serotonin in someone's brain and to do that long term is dangerous and life-threatening and life possibly life-ruining so you know, if there's any doctors or psychiatrists watching this, please take note. You know, please learn. You know, because <laughs> the things you guys are doing is just ridiculous. You know, yeah. Uh, I don't know how you guys sleep at night. You know, take responsibility. Um, and for anyone out there who's been exposed long term to these drugs, you know, like myself. We just got to continue our tapering regime. Regime. We to continue to taper us slowly, and just do just do everything right. You know the best we can, and um, you know eating well, um, eating a lot of antioxidants. Um, you know, a lot of you know neuroprotective foods. We have a wild blueberries, spirulina, turmeric. Getting a lot of water. Um, eating well a lot of sunshine, a lot of vitamin D and ultimately guys it's going to come down to uh, patience um, and our brain's ability to, re to rewire and heal and you know for me it may never happen 100% but I told many people as long as I'm you know five years from now, ten years from now, as long as I'm able to you know have some sort of life, you know work maybe you know three four days a week um, and have an improved quality of life but then that's worth fighting for it's worth going through this battle for so you know anyone out there guys uh, you know please keep going and um, if you've watched this video I hope you've learned a little bit about neurotoxicity and its effects on the nervous system on the body on the mind and and yeah, that's all I can say really. It's just a, a very long journey. So yeah guys, if you like what you saw, uh, please hit the subscription button below. And um, ultimately I'd love to reach out to as many people as possible and share my journey of, of healing and to give hope to, you know, hope to people in my situation that you know, life will improve. Cheers guys, thanks for watching.